There's one that looks like a piece of poop that's moving. A moving piece of poop. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen here in Busan and where I'm standing right now, this is so exciting. I'm in the largest seafood market in all of Korea. This place is called Jagalchi and it's where people from all over come for some of the freshest seafood. Not only can you come here and buy different types of fish, lobster, crab, Sebastian, flounder, whatever you want, swimming underneath the waters and bring it home, they'll also cook it for you. Let's go get some seafood. Basically, uh, what you do here is that you order the fish or the seafood from the individual vendors that, that's surrounding me right here downstairs. And then um, you go upstairs and you book a table. And then your food is basically brought up to you. Usually the fish here is cooked sashimi style. But you can ask them to cook your seafood the way you want. And this place, you know, is filled with fish. But it actually smells okay. It's not that stinky. Obviously it smells fishy. But it's actually better than some Chinese supermarkets. Also, as soon as I walked in, um, people all around me start talking to me in different languages. Asking if I was Chinese or American. Oh, wow. But um, I'm actually looking for a specific stall because supposedly they, they cook a really awesome feast. This is the stall my local friends told me to come to one and eat free. Um, yeah, here's the chef. That's that's you right there. That's him. Yeah, it kind of looks similar. All right, so I'm going to go with Mr. John here. <laughs> He's going to cook for me uh, because I don't eat anything raw. He's going to steam some, some shrimp. He said it's really, um, well, seasonal here that I've never seen before. Uh, he's also going to grill a fish, a stonefish, and cook a lobster for me. Alright, sounds good. So, after you order whatever you want to order from whatever stall you choose, you go upstairs and it's just this massive dining area. Like seriously, this whole floor is just a big dining area. And apparently, um, every single stall down there, they have their own space that they reserved up here. So you go to a specific space that, that only like corresponds to the stall downstairs. So this is the space, and I'm just gonna sit at that table right there. Let's take off your shoes. Shit, it's really nice soft floors. And the table up here is really inexpensive. Uh, it's 4,000 won a person, and you get a bunch of bancha, and well, you basically get a place to eat your food. And this place is sort of like the Dempa Seaside I went to in Manila, where you get to choose your own seafood, you get to go to a restaurant, you pick out the way they cook it. Except for this market, it, it's just so much bigger. The building we went into uh, today, it's only one of two buildings where you could choose from hundreds of vendors. All right, here we go. First course is up. Oh, here it is. That's it. That is my giant, I guess, box of seafood. This is just glorious. Lobster, never had this before, but this is called fan shrimp, with good reason, I guess. Clams, prawns, oysters. Oh, just beautiful. So this is my seafood feast and includes a grilled rockfish. Oh man, this thing went through some trauma during this grilling process. I've never seen a grilled fish get torn up like this before. I mean, it's kind of like, I feel like this grilled fish during the grilling process, a grilled shark or something took a bite out of it. There's like a piece missing right here. I love this. I love how they serve the seafood like in a drawer. It's almost like socks drawer, but instead of socks, it's just a mound of seafood, which is like way better than socks. I don't even know where to get started first. I want to kind of start with my grilled fish because I feel like if I don't take a bite now, some other invisible force might and it'd just be gone. By the way, this just smells absolutely incredible. Like if you just ate a buffet meal or a whole large pizza and you feel like you couldn't take another bite of food and then you smell this fish, you're going to be hungry all over again. I promise you. So here it is. I'm just gonna try this on its own. Oh, that's good. Bravo. A kneeling ovation for the fish. Oh, it's good. It's just really a bit of salt. But man, this thing is grilled well. Uh, skin is light and crunchy. That fish is awesome. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear. I had a crunch of the skin. Look at the fish meat itself. Flaky, white, juicy, beautiful pieces of meat. Ah, uh, meat itself, so succulent and tender, just slightly seasoned. I was told to mix the soy sauce with a bit of wasabi, just touch the fish in here. Oh, 
You could dip that fish in dirt and still taste good. What I love is that this fish also doesn't have a lot of bones. Oh man. Oh, that flesh is so flaky. Mm. All right, I gotta get to some of the seafood before it dries out. I'm gonna try one of these these uh, fan shrimps. This thing looks like an ocean peacock or something. We're like, this is like the ocean Starbucks or something. Look at it, you open it up. This has got this big chunk of meat inside. See this? From head to tail, all meat. And you just, oh, that just came out beautifully right there. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Dip it in just a tiny bit of soy sauce and wasabi. Oh my gosh, that thing, I'm telling you guys, tastes like a more tender, more sweet piece of lobster. It literally tastes like a mini lobster, but better. That, wow, that doesn't even taste like a, like a shrimp. It doesn't. This time I'm gonna get that little little organ out there as well, or whatever that is. There we go. I love how it just comes out in one clean swoop. Oh man. That's the greatest thing. I really love that. Problem with seafood is you can't let it sit. And the rest of my seafood, I was eating those two are kind of dying on me, so I gotta, I gotta get to them. Oh, come here, a little clammy. Oh man. A slightly briny, slightly sweet, extremely amazing way. The key with everything here is the fact that it is so insanely fresh. And I don't need to dip any of the seafood in anything. It's just amazing taste of fresh seafood, like as fresh as it can be. It's literally from right beside this building in the ocean. All right, just get getting to my lobster. Just grab the lobster tail. Again, I'm sorry, it's been sitting out a little bit. It's looking a little not as good as it should. Comes out right away. Look at that. Oh. Mm. There's a slight bit of roll on this. And if you guys wonder what lobster candy tastes like, this is lobster candy. Just the most ridiculously sweet, juicy lobster you can find. Mm. I think beyond all the ingredients, beyond all the seasoning, beyond all the cooking methods, if you just have the freshest seafood you can and then just steam it and serve it really quickly, you can't beat that. Like, everything else is just a cherry on top. Prawn is one of my, oh, oh yeah. There's a lot of juice in this prawn. One of my favorite things ever. Look at that, all that good stuff inside the prawn. Mm. Look at this thing, you can tell how fresh it is. The shell literally pops off. Barely had to chew that. Uh, great about having all this bunch on here is that I'm gonna just uh, take my clam, put it inside a water seaweed. Oh yeah, just take out a nice, Piece. This is my favorite thing so far. This is the greatest. Put it on there as well. A little chili in my fermented bean sauce. Put it right there. There you go. That was a major league buy right there. This is something I, I love doing. Wherever I go to an island like the Philippines, so ridiculously sweet. Or a coastal town like Busan, I just have to go for some seafood. Also, fresh seafood really does taste different from different parts of the world. So if you come to a place like Busan and you don't go for seafood for at least one of your meals, you're really missing out. This place is great. What they're gonna do is they're gonna take them out. Oh, a fan shrimp just stabbed me. Watch out for that, by the way. That is really sharp. Well, that just motivated me to eat more of you guys. You guys ever do that? Seafood revenge eating, you know? It's a deliciously satisfying game. And afterwards, you're gonna feel full and vindicated. What I also love about um, Korean seafood places, well, at least the last couple places I went to, because just like a good fireworks display, there's always a magnificent finale. And this seafood finale is gonna consist of the heads of the fan shrimps that I ate and some ramen. All right, so here's what happened. They were supposed to take the heads of a couple of my fan shrimp and a use it to boil a ramen at the end. But there was a miscommunication in the kitchen and those heads got thrown away. Tragic loss. So now they gave me a couple of prawns and a couple of abalone to cook the ramen with. Which I'm still excited, but not as excited because I love those fan shrimp. I have this ramen has like little pieces dehydrated hot dogs. Add the seasoning. I see some carrots. Hey, why not? Carrots are nice and nutritious. Some garlic. All right, the broth is boiling. In goes the ramen. Some chili goes in. I think it's pretty much ready to go. All right. Ramen's good to go. Don't have a ladle. 
Let's see how it is. Oh, that's nice and seafoody. Oh yeah. A little kimchi in my broth. These are the abalone. the seafood feast. Now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like all warm inside, ready to go outside in the cold. Ramen is, is really just a perfect way to cap everything off. If you are ever in Busan, I definitely recommend coming to this fish market. It's so interesting walking around the fish vendors, deciding what you want to eat, and then finally settling down to just a fantastic fresh seafood meal. This has definitely been one of my food highlights here in Busan. And guys, just to note, I randomly picked a vendor, so you don't have to pick the one I picked. I think this one is pretty good, but they did lose my shrimp head, so I, I don't know. But if you do choose the one I went to, I'll list out what I had in my description box below. But I do encourage you, go look around for yourself, talk to the vendors, figure out what you want to eat. Because I think for the most part, you're not going to go wrong with anybody you choose. Because the seafood, the fresh seafood, is going to speak for itself. All right, guys, I, I got some more ramen tea, so I'm, so I'm going to get to it. Thank you all so much for watching, and until we eat again, see you later.